What is the need of meetups in these days when we have, you know, broadband internet? You can do a lot virtually. You can do things in, you know, Second Life, VR, all those wonderful things. But if you don't have a human connection with the people that you're working with on some of the open source projects, or if you can't really look somebody in the face and see that they're puzzled, having that actual face-to-face -face time is really important to really grow a community. The meetups are saving two purposes. First of all, it introduces new users. If you are just a new user, you can come over and you meet. You can meet your fellow users who are just starting out and talk with experts. And if you are an expert, very often you can meet people who are dealing with the same problems as you have and uh, talk with your fellow experts on anything related to area you're interested in. The meetups really um, give us an opportunity to connect with people in person, allow us to then go virtual. I really think that um, without those face-to-face -face connections, you can't do a, a completely virtual community. So meetups are local. How easy or difficult is it to find you know, five people in, in the local community? It's really simple. I mean, you can go to meetup.com, uh, set up a meetup. If you build it, they will come. It is insane how um, quickly people come out of the woodwork and join these things. So, so it is important to have local connections because it's a very informal setting. It, you have only, most of meetups have drinks and pizza. The trick is always finding the venue, right? And finding the space and finding the sponsors for the pizza and whatever it is. What is one of the biggest challenge that you uh, see when you organize these meetups? If you just start, the biggest challenge is to find speakers for the first couple of meetups. And one of the solutions we have is uh, CNCF has a speakers bureau. So if you go to CNCF website, you can try to search and by your area, by your country and you'll find speakers who are already willing to present and talk about CNCF technologies or Kubernetes and other stuff. Well, CNCF tries to expand the meetup groups. Right now, CNCF has around 160 meetup groups around the world. And we're all trying to have more meetups to encourage the adoption of CNCF and all the Kubernetes and all the early technologies. And meetups are one of the best ways to do this. We always are trying to encourage new speakers, new attendants, uh, share experience, this kind of stuff. And it's, I guess, I believe that meetups are the best way to learn as well. What advice do you have for meetup organizers? If you are a new one, then just just start it, just make make it happen. Just don't be again, don't be scared. You don't have to start big. You don't have to start with 200 participants with I don't know five speakers. Just start, just organize one, people will come over, they will reach out. After a few months, you will have a whole community. And if you're an experienced organizer, there was a very interesting pro tip shared yesterday. Use people in your Rolodex. Um, look on LinkedIn um, for people who are in your area. LinkedIn has a great little filter for um, by city, for area, so you can find that. Um, talk to the CNCF folks, they have a great speakers bureau. They also have, um, they know who's traveling to your area. So if you're in any major city or something, they also know who's using Kubernetes in your area. They're pretty good about that and they can share that with you and help you pull end user speakers. There's tons of them out there now. And you can reach out and you increase the diversity of speakers, increase the diversity of represented projects because it's very important and CNCF tries very hard to make sure that every group and age and all the people are represented equally. Whenever underrepresented groups see that uh, it's, they are represented as well, I think they will come over. They should feel welcome. They should feel welcome and it's a hard, very hard work on the top organizer's side to make them feel welcome, to make them feel uh, safe and, uh, well, I don't know, like they're not, they are part of the CNCF, big CNCF family basically. What advice do you have for people who want to join these meetups? What, what expectations they should have and how they should prepare themselves so that they can get the most out of meetups like these? Just come over, just don't be shy, just come over anytime you feel like. We have free food and free pizza, so it's always a big plus. Um, and don't worry um, if you don't know everything. Of course, you can have a Kubernetes class, free Kubernetes class from Linux Foundation, from CNCF, you can read blog posts. Uh, you can try to check out yourself your GitHub. I know Kubernetes is a hard way, uh, but uh, most important, just come over, talk with people, because what happens is that you're not alone. You are not the only newbie. You're not the only person who doesn't understand these things. There are always some people who are very new and trying to learn it, and you are in a good company. If you, do, if you don't do it by yourself, basically, just come over. Speak up when you're there. Introduce yourself to the organizer and always um, 
you know, help with the cleanup a little bit and volunteer to be the next speaker if you, if you feel so inclined or definitely suggest a topic. If there's something you really need to know about, that helps us um, set the agenda for the next one. It's all about building a community. Like that's, you start with one, you start coming over with one or two meetups and you start coming third or fourth and in a year you become an expert basically.